Good morning. I wanted to share with you Psalms 86, verses 11 through 13. Teaching me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart that may fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart. I will glorify your name forever. For great is your love towards me. You have delivered me from the depths of the grave. In my life in the spirit Bible, I've had this one a long time. I think I believe it's called the fire Bible now. The footnote here for 8711 is this. In the midst of his trouble, the psalmist humbly asked God to teach him his ways and his truth. They might fear God from the heart. When we are experiencing trials and difficulties, we must cry out to God for wisdom, to walk in his ways, and for a heart that truly fears and delights in his truth. Now, a lot of people argue with fear of God. I think we ought to fear God. He is almighty, all-powerful God that created the heavens and the earth. But as a Christian, I believe that fear is an awe and a trembling. Because we never want to truly grieve the heart of our Heavenly Father. So, we know that perfect love casts out fear. But the fear of God is good. To respect who He is. To tremble at His name. Fear, in this instance, is not bad. But remember the God that is so powerful. The God that the, the earth trembles over, mountains shake. The God that is seated on the throne, that sent his son to die for us, that sent his Holy Spirit to live in us. He knows what is going on in the world right now. He's aware of everything. He's all-powerful, always present, and he knows everything. So if he's aware of what's going on in the world, let me tell you, he's aware of what's going on in your heart. He's aware of your heart. The Lord loves you. The Lord loves you. And he's a familiar with what, what you're going with. Have you been overwhelmed? Have you felt depressed or numb? Has the road been kind of hard I love this psalm. Teach me your way, O Lord, and I will walk in the truth. Walk in his truth. Give me an undivided heart. That's a whole heart for God, right? That I may fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart. Praise him, even in the midst of this. I will glorify your name forever. Forever. For great is your love Towards me, you have delivered me from the depths of the grave. There's nothing, there's no grave, there's no power that's stronger than God's. When we give our lives to Jesus and we stay connected to him, even through this trial, keep your heart whole for him. Keep your worship right. Walk in his truth and allow him to help you through this dark hour. Father, I pray in Jesus' name that anybody is listening that they would receive their encouragement from you. Father, that they would walk with you with a whole heart, an undivided heart. Fear your name. Praise your name. Give you glory. Realize the outcome of everything going on. Thank you, God, that you know what's going on in the entire universe from eternity to eternity. And yet you care about our individual lives. What a great Father you are. And how we love and praise you. Father, bless our day and help us, God, to keep our whole heart on you. In Jesus' name, amen.